my loves welcome back and i have got a teeny tiny little bit of a cold so if i look really congested and bogged up it is because i am a uh, little hunter got a cold and it seems to have passed it down to me so um i am a little bit congested for this week's reading so just bear with me and the uh lovely noises that my nose seems to be making some people might say it's sexy i however just feel like it is quite minging it's minging. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at your person's thoughts and I want to really go into the essence of what their thoughts are because a lot of the time they can give you conflicting messages, they can give you messages where they've got this on charade on and they're like well I feel like this and I can't talk about this but I actually want to go beneath that surface level and have a look at what your person's true thoughts are about you now this is likely to be stuff they're not going to tell you stuff they're going to keep hidden from you but we're going to go into that essence of it so we've got two decks for you to pick from uh this is the morgan green tarot um it's an original kind of rider weight ish deck um but we're working within the original images type thing and this is the astari tarot so we're going with really really different decks today and i want you to go to the deck that you are most drawn to and if it starts easy, bear with me. Okay, deck number one. Let's go. So let's get into the essence of your person. We're going into your person's energy as you're thinking about them. And we're going to go into their thoughts. If uh, my guides can connect us with their thoughts. And then I'm just going to break through any blocks, barriers and uh, brocades, brocades, brick, brick something. Spirit said, and um, that they are putting in the way, so we're going into the true essence of their thoughts for you. Okay, let's have a look. Can you tell me what are the people that they are inquiring about in deck number one? What are their thoughts about those? The true thoughts, the true essence of their thoughts. Ooh. So, I'm getting a bunch of songs come in my right ear. So we've got a few mixed messages coming through this deck. So this is going to be like a few of you are on one point, a few of you are at the other. So very much take what resonates with you in this reading because we're going to go, we've got a few different things going on. So the first one song that came through is somebody that I used to know. Now I can't remember who sings that. It's kind of like that Ed Sheeran vibes, but I don't think it is him. Um, then I got How Long Will I Love You As Long As The Stars Shine Above You. So you have got those very mixed messages going on with you and your person. There is a love and there is also this, like I said, a bit of a wall or a bit of a barrier that they can't express those feelings and they can't express those thoughts to you. But they are there and they are in their emotions and spirits saying rivers run deep. Now, when we talk about rivers, we're talking about emotions because water is always um, the symbol of emotions. So rivers run deep. These emotions run really, really deep with them. And with that and on that water based theme, spirit saying to me, spirit being guides. OK, it's coming through the right ear. So it's higher, higher beings. So it'll be more like the ascended masters, archangels, uh, goddess. They are saying mark the tides of changing water which is very very kind of nicely worded isn't it and what it means is that things are turning emotions are changing things are turning situations are turning around and with that we get this song a few times i got coming around again um and that was kind of an old song i can't remember who sings it but i think they begin with a c um that's an old song oh god i'm so congested okay so what are their true thoughts about you now the first thing i want to draw our attention to is the tower okay so we talk i've talked to you guys about the tower before and if you are it's your first time watching the channel let me kind of explain this to you so the tower is when things fall apart around you and it all goes a little bit peak tongue okay now you can have big t's big t towers which are like the breakups the separations the divorces the um you know, really big shit, basically. And then you can have little tea towers, which are like the arguments, the playing games, the conflicting, when you're suddenly feeling a little bit beat up and battered from the situation, okay? Mentally beat up, mentally bat knackered, okay? You're knackered. So this is the first card that is coming up and this is coming up in your person's thoughts. Now, what I wanna say about this, why this is coming up is because your person, when we're hearing the songs coming through, thought that they might be able to step away from the situation, that they didn't need to really confess their feelings of love, 
but it's hitting like a hole in the head because their emotions for you are extremely real okay so there is a great love between you guys really really great love and they won't tell you that um but this tower is hitting like a hole in the head we've got the nine of swords and the seven of cups so your person is also feeling quite confused and in a state of fear now the fear is probably coming from circumstances so whatever your person could be involved in circumstances families um more likely to be twin flames you could have cultural issues you could have family issues you could have uh regional issues like some of you guys i know like dubai uh arranged marriages all that kind of stuff there is kind of cultural issues that could be coming up for some of you guys and we have that energy and that energy comes with a state of fear. So they've realised their emotions for you. They've realised they have these very strong thoughts and they have these very strong feelings for you. But they're confused on how it could go forward. And that leaves them feeling a little bit heartbroken and a little bit upset. OK, so you've got these feelings of sadness because the situation just isn't. I mean, it's transforming. It, the alchemy is happening with the situation and the love for you is extremely strong. And if you've done some magic, I want to give you a big thumbs up and tell you, yeah, the magic really worked. Um, and if you do need any magic, you can give me a shout because we can do some druidry um, for a lot of you guys. Not all of you, but if God has say yes, we can do it. We can do it. And we have this transformation. So your person is gathering their strength on this. They're really going inside of themselves. They might be having some dark nights of the soul. They might not be communicating with you. Um, I just got the song by Halsey, Ghost, Where Did You My Ghost, Where Did You Go? Um, either that's being your energy or your person's energy. You, They are your ghost. You are their ghost. You haunt them and they haunt you. Okay, and that's where strength is coming in. Now, with the Ten of Pence kind of coming up at the end, this is saying that there can be a progression route here. There can be an ending and a new beginning, and it can be that um, spirit said emerging. I want to say, uh, oh, what's up? They said emerging, but they also said the word um, amalgamating. They said both, so it's kind of the same thing, though. Coming together, a joining of love, um, because they're realizing their emotions for you. OK, and that's their thoughts. So their hidden thoughts from you are that they've realised that they have these very strong feelings for you. They're still in a state of fear and there is a state of confusion, but it feels to be more like a twinny flamey vibe that they don't really know how it could progress forward with you guys at the moment. But that doesn't mean they don't love you. It means that they're struggling to express their love to you. So they might be going ghost, etc. Um, but there is marks of tides of changing water. The emotions are changing. Things are amalgamating and emerging. Your energies are aligning together. You're doing the wavy business where you're waving in out and out of each other's lives. Um, and that builds the connection between the two of you, if you wish it to. And that's the number one in your person's secret thoughts about you. Okay, right, let's scoot over to deck number two. So deck number two, hi, welcome. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I have got a cold. So I am a bit congested you gotta bear with me if i'm a bit like gross uh today so what we're going to be doing is we're just going into your person's thoughts and we're going underneath any masks or illusions that they might be putting in their thoughts and communicating that with you and spirit are letting us push past that barrier spirit being spirit guides and um, this time it's higher dimensional beings because they're coming through my right ear your closest spirit guides and family will come through my left ear um but with it being your close uh, you, the higher dimensionals are letting us push past any blockage that's there. Now, as I'm going into this energy, I'm getting a massive pull of anxiety in my um, solar plexus. Okay, so two inches above the belly button. Massive pull in that, and there is an anxiety that comes with that. Now, the solar plexus is often to do with confidence. Um, it's very much associated with yellow, and if you wanted to look at medical terms, it associates the bones within your body. So if you're, just as an aside note, if you're suffering from arthritis or any issues with your bones, it is solar plexus connected. But with these cards and with this reading, the energy is very much sitting on a place of lacking confidence over the situation and anxiety of where things can go. So your person is feeling trapped. And with this, I got the song and I, I don't know the title of it. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, by I think it was Conran or Conan Gray. Conan Gray? Conran Gray. Um, and it's about um, a love. It's about the beautiful things that you share with one another. Um, but I'm also at the same time, we're having a bit of Halsey today, hearing Maniac. And that song, excuse me. 
sorry that was gross that song maniac um is about i think it was halsey i don't actually think it was halsey but about wanting someone back uh you maniac so they're not being treating you very well with the situation um and now they're kind of saying yeah well, you know i'd quite like to get back with you see how you are see what's going on so we've got let's start at the end you've got death and temperance so these are the kind of rule we've got the world as well um so ruling the kind of reading it looks like you guys might be at a bit of a standstill like nothing much has happened um at this point in time and that you're feeling a little bit stuck both of you okay now we're looking at your person's thoughts so their thoughts with death and temperance is like this situation has come to a bit of a close and it's come to a close because they that's a police helicopter chasing them away um Actually, no, that's an ambulance helicopter, so let's just send out our best wishes and um, hope for, you know, to send out some love for that. Okay, it's an um, ambulance helicopter, so they're going to pull them out. Um, sounds horrific. Okay, so the ending is come to a bit of an end and they're not quite sure how the situation can progress forward. And what we've got in all of these cards, you've also got the Four of Swords, the Eight of Swords, Temperance and Death. It's like it's it, the situation is at a bit of a standstill with you guys at the moment, okay? The situation has come to a little bit of a standstill. Now, what I wanna mention with that is that this situation is actually hibernating, okay? It's a bit dormant. Um, dormant is a dormouse, spirit is saying. So it's probably gone to sleep rather than it's over and done with. Your person hasn't quite realised that at this point in time. What they're doing is they're trying to avoid the situation. Okay, they're trying to just go, okay, you know what? It was what it was or it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. So I'm going to wear this mask and this is how I want the situation to be perceived. Now, moving forward from that, your person is very much stubborn. They're very much thinking about it from their own perspective. Um, we do have a joining together of you guys further down the line. But for now, your person really is in avoidance. Okay, so let me just pull some cards as to why they are avoiding the situation so much. Why is deck number two's person avoiding the situation? Okay, so it looks like there is an element of heartbreak and pain. It looks like there is this element of choices. It looks like things, you know, split between the deck. Perhaps things have been said that shouldn't have been said. Conflict, tension, arguments, heaviness, sadness, heartbreak, movement. So they're, they're scared of communicating with you to get in case they get the heart hurt again. Basically, that's what's happening. Okay, so your person's thoughts is, yeah, the situation is stagnant, but I don't know how to move it forward because if I move it forward, I can get hurt again. And I don't really want to. Um, I do want to speak to them. Okay, that's really important. Your person does want to speak to you. They do want to communicate with you, but they can't quite find the words, Spirit is saying. Okay, and with that, I heard a song um, by Taylor Swift that says, you're not sorry. Okay, now that could be your energy with your person or their energy towards you if you've had a bit of a conflict or a bit of tension or a bit of an argument. There is a love here, but it's it's just had to have a little bit of a break. It's had to have a little bit of a breather. Your person is feeling really bogged down with it, feeling very heavy with their emotions for you um, and unsure on how they can progress it. So yeah, again, it's all about taking a step back, Releasing the situation, letting it transform and having some downtime. So debt to you, your person's thoughts are really in avoidance over it all. They're trying not to think about you. And I know you're not going to like me saying that, but they're trying not to think about you because it's just too painful. It's just too painful. Give it the right time, the right circumstances and the right alignment of your energy. And, the, you know, if you need to do magic, we can do that. And it can come back around probably quicker than what you're expecting. What we want to make you aware of with debt number two is that it will come round again. It'll come back. OK, um, really random song, but I'm going to just throw it in there because I got it. I just got the do nots. If you remember them, not the donuts, the do nots. Uh, whatever happened to the 80s? I just heard that really, really clearly. So I will leave that with you. I just might fit for someone. Um, I don't know why else I get it. There's a link with a connection with some of you guys. There is a sense of freedom from this, okay? So you're getting liberated through you guys being in this situation, okay? You're really finding yourself, finding out who you are as a person. Um, and the situation is a bit difficult and it will be on your thoughts and it will be lingering in your energy. It will come, you know, you will hear from them again. Um, 
but if you want to look at it individually then you can just give me a shout and um, i do same day turn around on voice note readings on instagram for just 10 pound a question um and we can do anything that you want i think the only things i'm restricted by are health uh readings including pregnancy um and that is because of the government that's because uk law says no you can't do that um and finances and legal battles to a degree and that's it so just drop me a message i love you all thank you for bearing with me with my congestion um and i will speak to you soon uh, just drop me a message if you need me instagram facebook oh, I'll, I'll put the deets in the uh, comments love you ciao